Today at The Shed we are meeting this Toolbox Lifestyles 1961 matchless Typhoon replica named The Shed Sled. Joe, great to see you. Thanks for coming back, mate. Thanks for the invite, mate, as this always. Is, this isn't your first video with us. No, this isn't, no. Last time you were here, we were talking about your sprint bike. Yeah, the Brooklyn 1000cc yeah. sprint bike. And that was our 2023 show poster bike. Yeah. And that was designed for going very quickly around banked ovals. Yeah, or in a very straight line, yeah. Yeah, a bit different. Yeah, this is... Um, playing this, in the mud. This is playing in the mud. This is a... <laughs> Built as an American California desert sled, hence why we've called it the shed sled because we built it specifically for this year's show for you guys. And it's a desert sled thing. But we had that great wheel of sleds at the show. This yeah, year, yeah, we? it was really good. Yeah. You, had, you also had a, a typhoon. We had another typhoon, well. an original typhoon, which Archie Morris did some very lovely paint scheme on it. Um, and then also my scrambler, my, my actually pre-60. Oh yeah, the, the competition yeah, bike. Yeah, my, my, um, my pre-60 race bike. Yeah. I love this bike. I also love that it's called the shed sled. I do too. <laughs> I love this bike. Do you know what I love about it is the, the patina and the honesty yeah. of it. You can sort of see the whole bike's journey. I mean, 61, it's an old machine now, isn't it? You described it as a mongrel. Talk me yeah. through it. So, so I described it as a mongrel. It's a Typhoon replica. Mm -hmm. So a Typhoon essentially was an American market only 600cc G80CS. The UK had a 500cc, um, but the Americans, when they had the 500, were like, well, you need it to be a bit more. Everything's bigger. Well, everything's bigger in America. So they sent stuff back and was like, right, build a, build a 600, and they called it a Typhoon or a TCS. Um, and this is a replica because it's a 600 motor um, and it's got American parts on it. It's a 61 frame, but actually the engine is, is a later engine. It has a, a Norton oil pump engine in it. And it's then, such a beautiful engine, isn't it? Just that like, massive cylinder. This is a Whopper, this is a 90 mil piston. So it's a big old piston right. to make a 600 cc. Um, and I call it a mongrel because I built it in my vision of how, like I do with a lot of bikes, how I would want it. Um, I have an original Typhoon, which is my one of my, I have two never sell bikes. Okay. My G3L, my 43 G3L and my Typhoon, and they're ones that would never go. So this is like, I love a Triumph and I love a Desert Sled and all the things, and the, the, they're just cool. So I've made a matchless version of it. And as with all these things, it's all in the details. Yeah. Ace Classic front mug got on, which is typical for these sleds. And the Triumph bars and Triumph grips. It's got a gold star seat on it. It's got a big old carburetor on it. It's a gold star carb. It's 34 mil. And to make this as punchy as possible, it's basically 34 mil all the way. So the, the, um, the head inlet is 34. And this is, as you can see, the flange is big because it's for yeah. a gold star and it's then tapered down to fit a matchless. So it's going to be a 600 engine, big carb stainless steel custom exhaust pipe because for the period they didn't have the low pipe so that was done i love the low pipe yeah it really winds around the engine doesn't it yeah and when it gets nice and hot it um does that not, nice not toasting your leg no no but because it goes that purpley yeah. you know that purpley titanium color and with desert sleds they had a 19 inch front wheel and 18 back mm -hmm. so this is essentially a p11 set of wheels so it's a it's norton, often, p11. norton p11 still matchless wheels they're still matchless hubs but they use them on the nortons <laughs> Right. So that's why I call it this mongrel because it's this, it's, it's almost the best of the parts you can get at the period in one bike. Yeah. You know, it's got a big old sprocket on the back, 50, 54 tooth sprocket on the back. So a matchless would normally have a 19, 19 wheel set. Yeah. And for scrambling over here, they used to do 21 on the front and they used to come out of the factory with a 21. But in a, because of the deserts and the rocks and stuff, the 21s would just bend. Um, so they went back to these 19s, big fat tires to just bounce those rocks. And you've got a <coughs> trials tire at the front? Yeah, so that's a Ensign 350 trials tire on the front and then a TKC 80, um, 18 on the back, which Amazing. is typ typical the Triumph boys do. And so you had it finished for the show, but... Had it finished for the show. You, you were saying it's, it's been giving you some trouble. Oh yeah, this one is really... <laughs> Yeah, really kicked my ass trying to get it running. And it's the, 
what people don't also understand with classic bikes, right, it's not like you know, a modern car and you plug it and it tells you what's wrong with it. And there's symptoms can mean more than one thing. You think it's one thing. So I thought I tried to beef it up so much that that big carb was pushing too much fuel in and you get that just quarter throttle when you go bah, 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 and I was like, oh my God, it's getting too much fuel. So then I was like, right, I'll go back to an old carb and try that. No, still the same thing. Okay, right, what's next? Timing, check the timing. Oh, and then, so this is a mag. It's none of the electronic ignitions or stuff that you can put on classic bikes now. So I was like, well, the mag was untested when I, it was on the shelf and I checked it, it sparked, it was good. But then under load, under power, sometimes they break down. Right. So I was like, right, okay, take the mag off, put a new mag on, no job. And then I was like, next thing, next thing. To the point we had the whole, the whole side of the, the timing side out, checking the cams, checking positions, and I, I did, I did find that I was a few teeth out on the exhaust cam, um, right. so which so was one thing. Trial so and it, error to get to a pardon? solution. Trial and error to get. Yeah, to yeah, a and it's not. You have to take so much off yeah. to get to, and because it's custom, it's a, it yeah. looks period, but it's custom to get that exhaust off. The footrests have to come off, and then that has to come off. Like, so it's um, yeah, it's not easy to diagnose, and yeah. then you like, oh, right check the push rods and check this and check that and oh maybe it's a spark maybe a duff spark plug like just go for a few plugs so anyway now running she, yes Sweet. she should be good Great. she should be good and it's road registered right it's road registered yeah i have put a baffle in it okay um so should you wish to start it oh, we um please yeah we can either go I would say sedate mode, it's not really sedate. It's like slightly understated or full full mode. Um, with that stainless pipe, it sounds pretty yeah. pretty cool. I think we can probably get away with um, yeah. full mode. Just 30 for, seconds just of full mode, seconds. I think yeah. this is, Absolutely. Is, is fine. And so what, what, what are your intentions with it? Obviously you've got your, your race bike, but are you gonna, yeah, uh, just, is it a well, fun bike? As you know, it... we're, uh, we build and sell and deal in these bikes. Um, for the right money, any bikes for sale, apart from those two that I said. Oh, of course, yeah. But it will stay in the collection and um, until the right owner comes along. It's such a handsome bike. It's I so love handsome. love all the sort of. Do you mind if I smell Yeah, go, 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 go. All the that stance of a desert sled mm. with those bars. And it's, and a, it's, Amer it's an American tank only as well. So it's a three gallon tank, which is a big bulbous tank. The UK spec ones were like a gallon and a half or two gallon. So it just gives you that, just that chunkier, beefier. Yeah. I love the, the way that, yeah. the, the patina, the water. And that is, that is original. That's original. So that, that tank That's I got from an auto jumble. Giving that a rub years and years ago and it's sat yeah look for you it clearly was ridden by someone your size because yeah. that is perfect that is perfect for ah. you that's right tucking your knees into that tank yeah. um and it was just in the loft it's for this is specifically american and it's specifically a twin down tube frame so it's a later frame and they would have just hammered that in yeah. for clearance yeah 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 so that's that's exactly what they would have done which is where the, the stops the fork stops comes in and it would have yeah. hit the tank so whoever raced this I'm assuming some very famous, you know, 60s racer in Matchless, um, you know, and they just like knock it in knock and that's what's, and the paint's really good. So it's just, and it was, it was meant for this bike. Mm. And it's been, as I said, it's been sat in my loft and we were like, yeah, oh, we'll pick this part and we'll pick this part. Yeah. And, we'll, and I got carried away because we had, so we had the chassis and other bits and pieces. And then I got further towards the end of the build and I was like, actually, now it's, now it's becoming a Typhoon replica. It's got the big engine, it's got all this. It needs all the little bits and pieces that make it a Typhoon or make it a competition bike. Folding footrests, which are really rare. The front yokes, um, yeah, other, other various bits and pieces. The yokes are so, compared to a modern bike, the yokes yeah. are so thin, aren't yeah. they? Looks yeah. like such a- I've bent a few of them, I have hate, yeah. <laughs> Uh, I love my the, first season of racing. I was on oh my G eighty five, which is another you've had at the show we had at the show this year. <laughs> um, the red, the red one, yeah. which I used to race that before I put it back to thingy. I um, yeah, I slipped and hit a tree on it in my first season racing and bent over the hand. I love the the patina and the age on some of the parts, yeah. like the, this old Castrol stick yeah. around here. Yeah. Is that, was that on it originally? No, but that's a, I have a special, for things like this, I have a special stock of 
period, not modern stickers, but original old oh, period really? stickers. Yeah. Wow. The only go on to they sort of only go on to bikes that you really don't want to sell or you want to keep <laughs> because then they disappear. You're not going to find that sticker. Yeah. Anymore. Yeah. Exactly. So you you they you can't find them. And this um, is one on the on the airbox filter. Yeah, filter on sticker. Yeah. 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 Again, proper period, like period old stickers and mm -hmm. this is my favorite way to build a bike the yeah. the patina like it could have just been dragged out of a barn and cleaned up from a 60s 70s bike and i just yeah then i do don't get me wrong i love a shiny you know you've had the polish matisse which yeah. is very bling but this is my do you know what I like about it and enjoy about it is that yeah, this yeah. sort of amalgamation of parts and yeah. styles and inspiration yeah so you've got BSA seat, BSA car, matchless tank. Triumph bars. <laughs> Norton wheels. Norton like. wheels. They're matchless, but Norton matchless when they were right. when they were one. This front wheel was on a 63 only matchless, and then they were on the G85 um, and then P11s. But this is what people were doing with bikes back then, yeah, right? Yeah, like, and you got, you know, works riders, or you, you, you got the best bits and you made it work for what you wanted to. One, two, yeah, and that's a web. That's a web coat. So it wouldn't have been. They normally they're just like this. They're just flat and polished. Right. Um, it's again all in the details. Mm. Like this. So this bash guard under here. Um, again, we had it in stock, which is we have a lot of stock of stuff. So building something like this, we can Go to the shelf. cherry pick. Yeah. Um, but it only came to here. It only came as you see. It's cut. So, and I want it to be, as a desert bike, you wouldn't want any rocks, anything going through and smashing your engine. So I got a bit of aluminium and basically made it look exactly like the bottom. Had at it with a just, drill. Just smashed a hammer, <laughs> bashing it, had it with a drill, like, but not, not precise, because this is not precise. And, and if you, was, unless you... This is old. This is, original. yeah, it's, yeah not, no, it's not original. Rich, it's someone's made someone it. Made someone it. made it at and some point for a matchless, match. and I made it to match, so you yeah. get that full guard. Um, but then trying to just age it to make it fit in because you don't want mm. a polished bit of metal especially when all of this is so lovely and aged yeah. and it's a beautiful and thing the, the colors like i love the mag so a comp mag they do in two that color and they do a bright gold one you've probably ever seen a, is a that lucas. the lucas yeah the lucas competition mags and it just doesn't i think the mag just in that same palette as the tank yeah. and it just all and it's nice when they just all come together. You oh, start God. with just that frame and they're like, right, put that on and build it to a rolling chassis and you change bits and... It looks fantastic. I think we need to hear it. Yeah. It's it. time. Yeah. You get the bike, I'll get the door. Fine. So it's um, a little bit noisy. <laughs> right, starting procedure. Put some fuel on. Hopefully she goes. These classic bikes is on. So take a bit, right. When did she last run? Yesterday. Yes. <laughs> Doesn't mean anything with a classic bike, Gareth. <laughs> means nothing. Couple of kicks. Wonderful. 